Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about or kind of showing you how to do this eye look. It is quite extreme, I guess is the word to say. Um, I actually started out doing a vibrant kind of like pink and yellow like sunset look, but this is what it turned into after I had to wipe it all off because I messed up. But it kind of reminds me of like kind of like a peacock, so... Let me know in the comments down below what this look reminds you of. Um, but it's kind of obvious the eyes are the focus because they're so colorful and fun. Um, I wanted to play with the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. and I've talked about this palette before in my palette video that I created about my palette collection, whatever. Um, but basically this is what it looks like. I haven't gotten the ones that she came out with recently. I did also use another palette. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Strobe Lighting. Look how amazing and like gross it gets really fast. But this is a strobe lighting palette. It's a highlight trio palette. And I basically used this shade right here. I use it for the inner corner and this highlight as well and that's pretty much the only highlight I like out of the trio I will talk more about this in a different video but I do actually love this look I was gonna do more of a pink sunsetty look somehow I just had to wipe that all off because I messed up and I didn't like it so I started over and this is what came of it uh, I probably wouldn't do liner I didn't want to do liner I wanted to throw on lashes too but I didn't the liner that I used was the Voluminous Liner Noir Liquid Eyeliner from L'Oreal. Now, this is a felt tip, like super long felt tip. I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's not hard to use. Yes, yeah, so this is the one that I used in case you wanted to know. Mascara of choice was the Superhero by It Cosmetics, which I got in the BoxyCharm. Um, but yeah, so if you wanted to see how I got this eye look, please stay tuned hey guys so we're gonna recreate this eye here to get started i decided to use a white base and i used the wet n wild paint pot you can get them at i saw them at my walmart and i think they're a couple bucks the brush that i use is a sigma large shader e60 brush and i just placed that in here and you can just put it on your lid kind of like um and I should have primer in a way. Next, I just used my finger. I'm not gonna set it. I'm just using my finger to kind of blend it more. It's not really tacky at all. When I go to do the eyeshadow, I just don't want the eyeshadow sticking too much. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this and I dipped it into the yellow which is in the center of the palette. And I wanted to put it on the tip of the brush. I went and I used my finger to apply the teal shade. took this dark teal shade it kind of looks really dark in here it's like a dark teal shade
cleaned off the brush with the color switch, which is like the sponge looking thing, and you just dip your brushes in there and they'll get the color off. So I just brushed all of that off. It's literally all about blending. It sounds annoying and repetitive that people keep telling you that, but it's like, it's not just a eyeshadow doing it on its own. Like you have to. Did is I went back into the shiny teal, the shimmery teal color. I'll reapply more of that. Then what I did is I cleaned up. You just have to make sure that if, Jesus, if your wipe is as dirty as mine, you have to make sure that you remember that it's dirty or else you're just smeared everywhere and you're going to ruin it. I did is I took this brush it's a Sonia Keshek brush that I got from Target years ago it doesn't even have the name on it anymore which I actually think that's what my fan brush was from that I put in the last video that I thought it was from something else I lied I said the wrong thing so uh, I took this shade right here and it's a highlight from Revolution and it's the only good highlight in this palette and I use that for the inner corner highlight. And I think I'm gonna use it for the brow bone as well.
Alrighty guys, so now that you've seen the tutorial, it's really, really easy now. It all has to go with the blending. And blending is one of the most important parts. I know you hear it a lot from a lot of people on here, but it's blending, blending, blending. Because as you've seen, when I plop the colors on, they look like crap and like the, ends, the edges are harsh and they look horrible. But once you start blending it, you can actually get a nice gradient, especially with the color selection in the palette. I do like the Electric Obsessions palette. It's just so fun. It's very inspirational. And it's very nice. Now on camera, this red shade kind of pulls up kind of like Fire Trick Red to me, I feel like, on the on the view screen over here. Um, but it's not. It's kind of like a deep, rosy color. Now, obviously, since the eyes were so wham bam, I decided to do neutral lips. I was gonna add some eyeshadows to the lips, but I think I might do a different video on like doing different um, like ombre lips and stuff like that to show you guys some ways of doing it. It's very simple. You don't really need all these abstract products and mediums and mixing mediums and all this stuff to do fun lip looks or anything. So don't forget to rate this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below so that you keep up to date of when I upload new ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.